Hello and welcome back to another super efficient build guide and today we're going to be looking at crafting 12 Nobelisk per minute using the vanilla recipe. In order to unlock Nobelisk, do note that you will need to research the sulfur tree in the MAM, and the build will be set on a 15 deep by 7 wide grid, and for this we will also need 180 iron ore, 240 coal, as well as 120 sulfur. You will also need resources for 4 foundries, 6 constructors and 12 assemblers. And note that I have coloured 3 squares in the grid to resemble various resources. In column 1 we have pale yellow for the sulfur and in column 7 black and red for iron ore and coal. We will also be using the manifold system, so if you do have concerns as to the efficiency, do check the associated video, I'll put a link above. Now to start off, place a foundry in the centre of the second row of the sixth column. Afterwards, place three more foundries to the left, spanning the second, third, fourth and fifth columns. We will now place a sloat double manifold. Now to do this, place a manifold along the ground floor in the centre of the first row for the first inputs and then a second one, a single line above the splitters for the second inputs. With it just being a single splitter above, we should be able to gently slope the conveyors into the foundries rather than use elevators. And do note that both the coal and iron ore lines should be using the Mark III conveyors. Once done, set all foundries to steel ingots, and we will now run a merging line on the output side of the foundries. This line should flow along to the right and finish off heading up the far side of the last column. At this point, we will now need to place the eight assemblers for the black powder. I've placed these in opposing pairs. The first pair is placed spanning the fourth and fifth row facing outwards along the edges of the fourth column. This is the column where we will be placing the manifold once we're done with this. The second pair is placed across the sixth row and the third pair spanning the seventh and eighth row and the fourth pair in the ninth row. In between the assemblers we will run a manifold line with elevators. So place the first manifold along the ground floor feeding the assemblers. The second manifold line will be stacked three splitters high and use elevators to split the resources into the assemblers. We will then run the coal line from the foundry around to the assemblers, but do make sure that you use a Mark I conveyor to limit this section to receive no more than 60 coal per minute. Then bring the sulphur up from the first column and feed it to the remaining manifold. Then set all eight assemblers to black powder and finally run a merging line up from the bottom of each column of assemblers and merge them together in the 10th row of the 7th column and notice how I use an elevator to merge the lines together. The merger should be facing the right of the grid at this stage. Then, spanning the cross sections of the 1st and 2nd column, as well as the 11th and 12th row, we shall place the first of 6 constructors flowing upwards. We shall then place 5 more to the right of this. Next, place a splitting manifold along the front of the constructor inputs flowing to the left. We will then connect this manifold with the steel ingots that have been left against the far right hand side of the grid. Set all of these constructors to steel pipes and on the output side we will run a merging line to the left of the grid. At this point we are now ready to place the four assemblers for Nobelisk. So place these facing upwards from the front of the 14th row in the second column, then spanning the third and fourth column, the fifth column, and finally spanning the sixth and seventh column. We shall now run a manifold into the assemblers along the ground flowing to the right of the grid, and this will be fed by the steel pipe constructors merger line that we've just placed. And do note that these pl splitters 
should be placed so that they are against the constructor's mergers. Above this manifold, we will place another manifold flowing to the left of the build, sloping down into the assemblers, similar to how we placed the manifold for the foundries at the start. This manifold line should be fed by the black powder that we have merged in the 10th row of the 7th column. Next, set the four assemblers to Nobelisk and merge them together and send them off to a storage unit. So there you are guys, another super efficient build guide to help you with producing 12 Nobelisk per minute in a relatively clean and compact layout. If you did find this video helpful then please do drop a thumbs up and if you do like my content why not join me on Twitch or subscribe to me on here. Anyway guys, Thank you once again for checking out my video and thank you to all our Patreons who make creating these videos possible. With special thanks to our Solar Eclipse Patreons, The Calamity, Tommy Ostgard and Eric Burkham, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patreon, Matt Lippitt and Blood Moon, Papa Snoozy. Anyway guys, as always, until next time, ciao for now.